All right. How'd it come out? Not bad. I think I'll do it a little different next time. Let me show you. So these are just some molds I got for like ice cream. So I used it for this. So let me show you the ingredients and what the lady said to use, but I did my own stuff. Kind of like just do it from what I know from my past experiments and then new experiments. So this is all new to me right there. It's something from the cells of red algae or something like that. You can do it on your own and check it out. So it's, it's a plant, you know, algae. So it's like a gelatin. So instead of using like bones and whatever they use for animal gelatin um, and jello and stuff, you use this. All right, so use the can of coconut milk, which this one's mostly cream, so that's good. And then I did about a half a cup of cashews. Now, her recipe, I'll read it to you because mine's sloppy here. I just wrote it real quick. So I'll, yeah, I'll read it so you don't get confused. So anyway, she said a can of coconut milk, um, half cup hot water, two tablespoons agar agar, um, nutritional yeast, salt, lemon juice. Now, that's to make it like sliceable. If you wanted to melt it, then you, you would add two tablespoons of tapioca starch, which I didn't do. And um, you could also do right here, you could do instead of the cream, you can do one third cup cashews and one and three quarter cups water. Now, let me get my, I didn't put nutritional yeast in to make it cheese flavor because I don't like nutritional yeast flavor when it comes to cheese or even the flavor really. So the cashews and the cream actually make like a nice cheese flavor on, on their own. But here is a nutritional yeast, but it's a lot different than regular nutritional yeast. Um, so it's called Nutrit. It's made with cashews. Let's see if it will zoom in for you and focus. There you go. So it's made with cashews. Where's the rest? I'm looking at both of them. Nutritional yeast, garlic, hemp seeds, brown rice, and sea salt. And then there is, if you can see, the nutritional information. There's a lot of good stuff in there. You know, you can just get the thing. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. So I did two tablespoons of that instead of nutritional yeast because, like I said, it's mostly hemp, cashews, brown rice, then nutritional yeast. And I just did the can. I did, like you said, like a half a um, cup. I did the can. I did the two um, tablespoons. And then I did two tablespoons of this. Now, this is really, really garlicky. Um, did I did I show you that in there? Yeah, garlic powder. So um, it's really garlicky and it's got a good amount of salt. So um, two tablespoons went a long way in this. When you make this on the stove, what I did is um, I blended it all up in a blender, got it nice and smooth. It tasted really good like that. It would make a great cheese sauce, but once you put it to heat, that's when that agar agar kicks in and it turns into a gelatin. Now, because I used the cashews, it doesn't look like cheesy gelatin. If I just did it with the cream like they said, the agar and that, it would have been probably a light color and it would have been wiggly a little bit like jello. Um, I got something in the oven. So what I did real quickly before I tell you about that is here's regular, here's regular. This one was um, dill. So I poured them in the mold and then while it was still in the pot, I put in some dill and black pepper in there. Um, so that's what it is. Now you can pop these out of the mold. I got one hand here. And then you can see it cuts, and I got one hand, but, so it still holds together pretty nice. But it's more like a spread. Mine came out more like a spread, like that. So what I did, and it's good, it's really good, but it doesn't taste like a piece of sliced cheese like I wanted it to, but probably because I used a good amount of cashews and not just the cream. But the good news is, is it spreads really nice. So if you like a cheese spread, do it like this. You can even make it fancy and once it starts to cool, you can like plop it on a plate, roll it in a ball. You can even roll it in nuts if you want and then put it in a bag or something or a bowl with a top on. I put this in a bag. It takes about two hours in the fridge to solidify. So you can do it like this. And like I said, you could put chopped nuts in, pour a little, put some chopped nuts in, pour a little, put some chopped nuts in. You can do onion, you can do parsley, you can do red bell pepper, whatever you want. You know, you can put it in there. Um, so that's another thing. And I, I'm thinking of those things at Christmas time where you roll, the cheese looks like a big rolled ball with nuts and then people slice it and spread it. 
So what I got is a piece of toast in the oven, which I'm going to see how it works once you reheat it. And um, I spread it on the toast after the toast got a little bit um, warm and stiff. And then I put some tomatoes and some green onions on there. And then I'm going to put some apples on there as well. And that should taste good. So what does this taste like? I don't remember the name of the cheese. My mother would know. But that Christmas time rolled ball with the nuts, it tastes like that. I don't know what kind of cheese that is. Um, but you get that because of the cashews. That's why you get that flavor. And if you like that kind of cheese, and I don't know the name of it, um, but that Christmas time rolled nut cheese, sometimes they're in a log. And, I mean, there may be other varieties of different cheese. Like, I know there's that wine cheese. Like, it's like a cheddar-y pink and red, orange. But this is this colored cheese. It tastes just like that. I just don't know the name of it. And remember, this has got some garlic in it and everything. So it gives it a nice flavor. So if you want to do it my way, once again, two tablespoons, about a half cup or so, maybe a little more, a can of that, two tablespoons of that. And um, just blend the heck out of it. And that's all you do. And then you put it in a pot, and you put it on about three to four medium on the stove, and you just keep stirring it. Now, it looks really good and cheesy, and it starts to thicken up. Um, I've done one with arrowroot. And arrowroot will make it more like a cheese sauce, which is good. This agar stuff will make it like that. So when you stir it, be, don't walk away for more than a minute or two because once it hits a certain point, boom, it will start to cake up. And you'll be like, ew, that doesn't look right. Just stir it and stir it and stir it and stir it. And, um, and, and it will look like whipped potatoes, like whipped potatoes. Then you just stir it up and stir it up. And you should be fine. Um, that's why it looks a little bit lumpy, like not perfectly gelatin smooth. Now, the other thing is, since you, I use cashews, if you use nuts or whatever, um, you're going to get some oil. So after I poured it and I let it sit, I just took a paper towel on that side and I tilted this up and I let all the oil from the nuts drain right off of that. So that was cool too. So I didn't get all that oil on it. And um, yeah, so that's simple and that's how you do it. Now, I may try it next time without the cashews and just the cream, the agar, and that. And that way it will be a little bit more clear a little bit more gelatin and wobbly and sliced like a cheese. Um, but I want to see how this warms up. But if you like it in a spread, this is excellent. Excellent. I know you're loving what I said. Oh, roll it in a ball or in a log. Roll it in some nuts or roll it in some salt and pepper or roll it in, you know, uh, I don't know, herbs or something. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. So I took a bite before I put it in the oven to taste it cold on the bread. It was good. And then this is just heated up. So, I just put it on low. If you put it on high, it's probably going to like turn burnt a little bit. Now, I've done my own cheeses, my own experiments with potatoes and cashews and this this cheese or another vegan um another vegan uh rated cheese that I use that's parmesan. And I whip it up and then I spread it over pizza like sauce and pizza and then I spread it out um with a spoon after it's whipped um in my food processor. And it, it browns up and oils out like cheese because I add a little bit of olive oil in it when I whip it up. And it works out great. You could probably use this too. And if you want it more heated and, and baked like a cheese, you could if you want. I can see that it would do that. I didn't want that. I just wanted to warm it up and um, get it warm and see what its texture would be. So, yeah, it's really good. And it tastes good. So, spreadable cheese, yeah, you could cut it. You saw me cut it. So, you could cut it and dice it if you want and throw it on salads. Um, it'd probably be a little bit more spready and pasty to eat like that. You want to do it more where it's going to be gelatin. And again, it's because of the cashews and cashews cream up and thicken up that it's like that. Uh, so it's interesting. And this is my first time with this agar stuff. I went by what that lady said, two tablespoons. I've never used this before, so I don't know if she's under or over. Uh, I've never looked into it. Apparently they do a lot of, um, desserts with this stuff. All right. So if you want a nice spreadable... Uh, cheese you can do that and like, like I said um, this isn't a recyclable container obviously um, I couldn't find any of this stuff in like a glass container or anything they all come in these pouches different size pouches so that's a bummer with that because um, you can't recycle it recyclable number one recyclable plastic number one or two recyclable plastic stay away from three four five six and sevens vegan non-gmo organic um, Eat as raw as you can. Uh, the carrot greens are mine. Um, only the carrot greens are mine right now. 
Um, some other stuff is still growing. It's in the first week of September. No, actually, it's the second week of September. So try to grow your own food, non-GMO, organic, and everything like that, raw as you can, one meal a day, simple living, as best you can. All right? And that's it. So if you like a good cheese spread, this would do it. This would do it. And again, you can do it anyway. That's pepper and, uh, what did I say? Uh, not parsley. What's that stuff called? Dill. Dill and pepper. Black pepper. And I should have put maybe some basil in one and some roasted red pepper in another. That would have been really good. And then, I don't personally like nuts. I do like cashews, but I don't like any other nuts raw and eaten. Um, I like nut butters. I just never acquired a taste for eating nuts raw except for the cashews. But if you're a nut person, you can do any of the ones I just said and then roll it up in nuts if you want. All right? Be all nutty about it. Love you. Bye.